Okay, so if you do identify yourself, the trooper will issue you several tickets and you'll be free to leave and they'll take, they'll have the car towed. Okay, if you refuse to identify yourself, then we have to take you into custody, take you to the station for fingerprinting so that we can identify who you are. That's unlawful. There has not been any, no, dad, you're not with this. No, I'm not done talking to him. I'm trying to educate you, buddy. Oh my God. Welcome back to another video guys. Today we head to New York State for what can only be described as one of my favourite videos of the year so far. And that's primarily due to this veteran New York cop who arrives as backup after a New York State trooper pulls over a new bit and very cocky sovereign citizen for the usual list of violations. He then vomits out the usual script but this veteran of 22 years has seen this all before and proceeds to, well rip him a new one, and then, for good measure, toss his car. Plus, his dad arrives on the scene, which hammers the final nail in the coffin. I've been itching to get this one out to you guys for days, so let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video. How you doing? Pretty good, how you doing today? Trooper Kelly with the State Police. Uh, I stopped you, you don't have a plate on the back of the car. Yeah, I, uh... What's that? Yeah, I, I understand. I, I'm right, right. You, you have a license registration or anything? Uh, no, I actually don't need that. I'm traveling. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Do you have an ID or anything? Uh, no, but I, I don't need to provide that. I'm, I haven't broken any traffic violations. I can't hear you. Mind, you mind stepping out? No, I'd rather not, but... What's that? I would rather not, to be honest. But I can't hear anything you're saying. I'll speak up for you. I would rather not, to be honest. Okay. But what I was saying is, I'm not driving, I'm traveling. So, therefore, I don't need a license or registration. You only need that when you're uh, driving on the roadway, uh, transporting goods or people for money. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard those arguments before and they never hold up in court because the people you've learnt this nonsense from are not credible. I'm sorry to tell you, but you've been misled. States wouldn't issue both commercial and non-commercial driver's licences if that was the case. Look, Black's Law Dictionary is just a dictionary and should not be used as a primary source for your definitions. Also, the 10th Amendment allows each state the right to enact traffic laws as they see fit, so arguments like this will always fail. Well, in New York State, you gotta have a registration, you have to have a license. Well, I understand that for New York State statutes yep. and, and laws, yep. but that's admiralty law. I'm, okay. I don't fall in that, I fall under common law. I, I'm my own jurisdiction. Okay. So, I, you're, right now you're enforcing admiralty law. Right now, you're you you're enforcing admiralty law, which is color of law. It's the color of law and statutes and regulations. Okay. And uh, you're you all step out for me. No, I'm alright. Alright, hang but, tight right here, okay? No problem. Wow, so this guy has fallen down the rabbit hole if he's citing admiralty law in the U.S. Not many soft sits do that, and this is the kind of meme that convinces them to cite it. Just for video evidence, if this goes to court, I am sovereign. I am traveling, not driving. Nor have I committed any crimes because no person or property has been hurt or damaged. Wrong again, that's not how traffic laws or how law in general is applied. People speed and drive intoxicated all the time. Do they get a pass because they didn't create a victim? Also, by not paying your license and registration, the state lose out on those fees, which causes a loss. You're also driving on a public road causing surface harm, and registration helps pay for road maintenance. I could go on, but I think I've made my point. Hey man, do you have a, uh, can I get your name? Like a name, date of birth, any of that? Uh, well, don't, I don't, I haven't committed any crime or violations, so I, I don't need to, so I'd rather not provide you that. You violate the vehicle and traffic laws in New York State. Um, 
and I need you to identify yourself as well. No, well, I have you detained. I have traffic stop. I haven't made any. I, I haven't committed any crimes. By no. the vehicle and traffic law. So no. you're not gonna give me your name, no, date of birth. No person or property has been harmed, so I haven't committed a crime. Are you gonna give me your name, date of birth? I don't. I don't need to. I'd rather not. I'm All not right, trying to be. Car, please. Yeah. So in this video description, he explains that this was his first time attempting the script. And you know, I can believe it because he is so nervous that he cannot stop fidgeting with the cord on his tracky top. And this gets even worse when the veteran cop mentioned in the title and intro shows up to do his thing. Speaking of which... It's an unlawful detainment. How's it going? How's it going? Pretty right, good. Roll down a little bit so I can talk to you? I'm all right. I, I'm just gonna keep it cracked so right. I can for my safety. Am I shutting the vehicle off? I can't really hear you, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't blame you. It's a loud exhaust. Yeah. So, what can I help you with? What's up? What can I help you with? So uh, the reason that you're being stopped is obviously you don't have any license plates. You don't have a valid registration or yep. insurance. Having a lack of registration and insurance in the state of New York is a misdemeanor crime. Well, and when you commit a crime of a misdemeanor, you're required to give your information. So you well, have to identify yourself to this trooper. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you'd be taken into custody and take, transported for fingerprinting. Can I so, explain something to you? Yeah, sure. So I understand what you're saying uh -huh. and what you're enforcing yep. under, you know, the New York State traffic laws and stuff and you. ad morality law. Yep. And that would be applicable to someone who is driving. But like I stated to the state trooper, uh, I'm not driving. The definition of driving mm -hmm. in the legalese language, which is used in the courtrooms and in Black right. Law's dictionary, yep. the definition of driving is commuting on a public roadway, making commerce, well, money, okay. transporting goods or people. Okay. And well, under common law, which is the law of the Constitution and the rights that I'm born with as a human living flesh, I I'm allowed to travel. But if I were making money, that would be considered driving. And under your state laws, I would have to have a license. And I, and I understand that argument. And so I'll just respond to that with uh, with this. That's an argument that's made in a courtroom. Yeah, there's um, I can a defense. OK, yeah. So what police officers deal with, police officers deal with uh, probable cause. So if there's probable cause to believe a crime has been committed, but I'm police officers must. Well, yeah, but I'm, but I'm telling you a crime hasn't been committed like I'm right. telling you definitions, right. straight up facts. Right. I could even tell you court cases that and, people have gone to court and, and won. Totally no, your definitions are wrong. Your facts are alternative facts and your court cases do not exist. If they did, then Juan Galt would be about five grand lighter by now. Anyway, the veteran who has seen this all before continues. I totally but, understand where you're coming from. It would be but, an unlawful... But, to, but, but again, that's, that's, uh, that's an argument and a defense that takes place in a courtroom. That is so true, yeah. Cause, I can... Probable cause is enough evidence for the arrest and then the defense part takes place in the courtroom. So no, that's, no. That's that would be an unlawful... Well, this is an unlawful detainment right now, but yeah. it would be an unlawful arrest. Okay, well... I would, I, I would, I, agree, I would disagree with you on that subject. That's this perfectly fine. This is a lawful traffic stop yeah, under it's... the laws of the state of New York. Well, and you can, I'm telling you that it's and not you though. Can provide but that I don't. Defense. Yeah, you're driving without plates and refusing to identify, which is against the law in every state in the US. So I think I'll go with the veteran on this one. He's been doing this job long before you were even a twinkle in your daddy's eye. I don't fall under. The traffic laws and statutes so the, are in the. the no, I'm the talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. Belong to the, the people of the state of New York. Yeah, they belong the to the people. Of the state of New York. They appoint the, the state care, caretakers the to take care of them. The people of the state of New York have passed laws related to the use of the roadways, and the yeah. two of those laws those are, are registration yeah. required. Those laws are under ad morality law. Okay, so for some reason, I don't think this cop is buying the ad morality law nonsense. So let's see what other bullshit he can come up with. Maybe some massive conspiracy like elected officials like senators are not really elected. You know, something crazy like that. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yep. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's fine. 
Okay. So, um, so because the, the people of the state of New York have enacted those laws, making it a misdemeanor. Well, the people who haven't said the senators yes, they did. Have. They elected the officials that passed those yeah. laws. So, we don't elect officials. It's, yes, they do. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't elect through, officials. Through votes and, and, um, the votes, they're, no, no. The, sir, sir, this is not going to go your way today. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, well, it's not about going my way or your way. So, it's about what's so lawful if, if and my rights. No, 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 no. It's about my rights, if sir. If you don't participate with, sir. The, with the process, we'll have to can, make can you I get your, I see your badge number. Can yes, I get your first can. name, please? You can see my badge can number. I please get your first and name? My, my name is... Is Luke Comp, and I can give you my okay. business card. That's and all right. I am a, a 22 year veteran of the police yeah, force, that's, and I can assure you that's that, that you do not have a valid argument at this time. I do. Your argument and your defense is for the courtroom. Okay. And Whether it's for the courtroom or not, you, you are not. You'll be taken into custody and you'll be fingerprinted to, so that we can obtain your identity. Okay. Can we just send this cop to every single sovereign citizen traffic stop from now on, please? Or at the very least, send this video to every police department so they can use it as a blueprint for how to successfully deal with soft sits. That would be awesome. Whether it's something you say in a courtroom or not, you are in no lawful way to detain me or arrest me. Yes, no, you're are. not. Yes, we are. Because on, okay, we're listen. on a public roadway that's funded by taxpayers' dollars. Those taxpayers nope. have enacted through their legislature laws yeah. that govern the use of the roadways. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Are Are you conforming to your oath right now? Yes. Well, you're not because yes, you, you when you sign to your oath, you sign to the law of the land. No. Yes. No, the laws of the state of New York and the Constitution of the United States. Yes. And guess what? There's the Constitution no of the United States. The okay. The law of the land is common. No you need land. to stop interrupting me. It's the very rude. Land it's very is rude. Not, is, is not a thing. Yeah. There is no common thing. law. Do you there's hear what I'm saying? Common law is from England. There's no, it's no not. Common law in the United yes, States. there is. No, there's not. There's a United States. <laughs> in courtrooms, there's there is admiralty. Constitution mm. and the laws of the state of New York. Sir, I get what you're saying, but you keep interrupting me, and uh, I don't appreciate it. I'm, I'm listening to what you're trying well, to say. You keep but... interrupting me. I don't appreciate it. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, in a courtroom, there's two laws that are being we're not yes, in a courtroom. right? Probable cause is the reason that we're going to no. stop your vehicle because you've committed two unclassified misdemeanors. I haven't in the state though. Of New York. I haven't and if though. If you refuse to identify yourself, then we have to take you into custody. Okay, so what happens if I identify system. myself? What's that? What would be what would happen if I identify myself then? Well, I think it's pretty obvious to everyone that if you identify yourself, you probably won't go to jail and Bubba will have to wait until next time. And there will be a next time if you continue down this road. I can assure you of that. If you identify yourself, they'll issue you a couple of traffic Also, tickets. are your cameras recording? I don't see any yeah, flashing lights. Yeah, cameras are recording. Well, I heard uh, a radio saying to mute the audio. Oh, so, so if you identify yourself... I don't see a flashing red light. Okay, it's, it's right there. Okay. okay. You can see my, my data timer moving yeah. forward, okay? It's recording us. Okay, so if you do identify yourself, the trooper will issue you several tickets, and you'll be free to leave, and they'll, take, they'll have the car towed. Okay, if you refuse to identify yourself, then we have to take you into custody, take you to the station for fingerprinting so that we can identify who you are. That's unlawful. You can keep repeating that until you're blue in the face. It won't stop reality or stop your car from being towed. There has not been any... No, Dad, you're not with this. No, I'm not done talking to him. I'm trying to educate you, buddy. Oh my god. Okay, so we didn't get to see his car being towed or him being arrested, but his dad turning up on the traffic stop more than makes up for it, I think. And you heard the cop, they were towing his car regardless. But the look on his face when he realised the game was up was priceless. And since then we've heard nothing from him, so hopefully he saw sense or his dad made him. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this one as much as me. If you did then please drop me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support my work then please consider becoming either a channel member or a patron where I offer perks like early access to content, badges next to your name in the comments and shout outs in the video description. 
or you can leave me a super thanks. Either way, thanks for watching. I would also like to thank every single one of my channel members and patrons for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. Right, take care all, and I will catch you in the next video. No, I'm not done talking to him. I'm trying to educate you, buddy. Oh my god.